What's going on everyone? Chuck here and I hope that you are having a fantastic day today. In this video, we're gonna be talking about this, the InCase Camera Pro Backpack. Is it a good travel backpack for videographers or does it fall into a different category? Let's talk about it. Let's go ahead and get a few things cleared away. No, I was not sent this bag. I purchased it with my own money and on Amazon, it was $120.70. As I said before, this is the InCase Camera Pro Backpack. InCase also makes a DSLR Pro Backpack and uh, the Camera Pro is just a, uh, a bigger bag. Uh, you not be able to see it very well in the other angle you will it's wider so it holds it's just got a deeper uh, cavity to put your camera gear in now why did i buy this backpack well recently um, my company that i work for they asked me to go around to other centers in north america and film virtual tour videos now i've traveled for work before normally i have a large pelican hard case that i put all my camera gear lenses batteries lights and that kind of good stuff and i also have another a uh, bigger bag that i put my tripods and light stands and shoulder rigs and all that kind of good stuff and i usually just check those bags and i know that's sort of like a faux pas in the videography world you should never check your camera gear but i haven't had an issue with it i've even with personal travel i've never had an airline lose my luggage but because of this ask and it's probably the biggest job i've ever had to do uh, for the company i work for i didn't want to run the risk of having that first time right so I wanted to buy a camera bag that at the bare minimum, I could put uh, the camera body, lenses, batteries, memory cards, um, and just be able to have the minimum gear, my laptop, uh, to have the minimum amount of stuff that I could still effectively do my job uh, until the airlines got my other luggage. And if I lost my tripods or something like that, I'd go to Target or Best Buy and buy a cheap tripod to get me through the shoot, right? So I settled on this uh, in-case Camera Pro backpack. There were some other ones. Uh, Peter McKinnon sells one that's like four or 500 bucks. There were some cheaper ones for like $500. Um, but with the amount of space that was in this backpack, um, and it's still you're able to attach a tripod to it if you, if you needed to, and it has just, like I said, a bunch of space. Uh, I went ahead and settled on this one with the reviews and price. It just seemed like a good middle ground from like the really expensive uh, camera bags to the cheaper stuff like the Amazon Basics type camera backpacks. So now let's go ahead and just show what you can put into this InCase Camera Pro backpack. So this is the front of the backpack. Uh, it is meant to actually be put down on its front so you can access the camera compartment which is underneath. But here in the front you have a pocket uh, just underneath the InCase logo. And in this pocket, I actually just put two of these uh, memory card cases. I have another one that's more full than that. But inside this pocket is about, so my fingertip is here. It's about that full or that deep. So it's got a decent size to it. And then just up here, we have the first of the big compartments and it zips all the way down and you can unfold it. Here, I just have an assortment of things. I have um, my external hard drive and the cable. Uh, I have my notebook, charging cable, hair putty, because you never know when you need to make that hair look good. And then you have an assortment of pockets. Oh, what else do I have? Oh, some pens. Those should probably go up here. A couple pens, my headphones, these headphones, these are the J-Lab uh, headphones, Bluetooth headphones. Who needs AirPods when you have these? These things, the noise canceling is spectacular on these, or noise reduction, I should say. And the sound on these is just phenomenal. Got another pocket here, which is where I actually put uh, my, some, my uh, glasses. And there's a, and uh, so yeah, as you can see, oh, what else is this? Oh, the actual wall charger. But as you can see, it's really full. And then you have another pocket right here. Uh, I don't think I put anything up here, but you have another mesh pocket at the top. And it just zips all the way up. Let's talk about the good stuff. So first we have our straps here. Very comfortable, really um, durable straps. It does have the chest strap here in the front, which does relieve some of the pressure of having all that weight on your back. 
only issue is is you have this much play in the actual adjustment of the strap it looks like you have all this play but you don't so as a larger man being able to just put it right here if i put it up here i'd be choking myself out uh, so even right here it was really high up on the chest and not comfortable so i didn't find myself using the chest strap that much move these out of the way they fold out of the way really nice to access the camera cavity now the reason i actually this is the reason i actually got this bag um, i was only looking for bags that could do this i didn't want any bag where you can access my camera from the front because i didn't want to be distracted or something like that and then someone you know tries to rob me or whatever and they can access my camera gear so i wanted to be able to only access the camera gear um, from the back and so this is really well padded it's breathable uh, so i mean it was for carrying around 25 pounds, it made it a little more comfortable on the back. So all you do is you unzip, and then oh, all the good stuff. And so as you can see, you can put so much gear in this bag. So I walked around with the Black Magic 6K on a small rig. I wish I could say this was my camera, but sadly, it is not my camera. This is my Jobs camera that they bought me, which is definitely an upgrade from the Nikon 7 or D7000 I was using. So I have this on a small rig cage because I have all the small rig components here in the middle. Um, so this was my main camera. So like I said, I want to be able to carry this with me at all times. So if my bags or my check bags were lost, I still have my camera on me so I can still get the job done. But so that went up here in the top, which can also access now if I didn't have that small rig cage on here it would slide in and out a lot easier but kind of snags there but you can also access the camera from the top um, so it also holds there's enough space down here for a second camera body which is right here um, now my other DSLR uh, that I use for work is well at work so this I'm just using my uh, old ADD as a substitute but it does hold two camera bodies it is a bit of a squeeze but it does fit two camera bodies. The reason I had this on here is I had to actually take uh, uh, still photos uh, as well um, while I was traveling. So um, I put that there. So it does hold two camera bodies. And I had an extra lens, the lens for this camera in here as well. Uh, it holds, um, I mean, it holds so many lenses. If you, you know, I have one, two, three, I have five lenses. Um, you can fit, uh, if I didn't have all this stuff in here, you could fit another one of the bigger lenses, like a, a 70 to 200 or something like that in here if you needed to. But instead I used this center compartment to hold all my small rig cage stuff. I have my two uh, V-mount batteries to operate this camera um, right here. And the cables for that are actually in here. Just remove these straps, which kept things really nice and tidy. I have my you know, multi-tool uh, stored in here as well. Another cable. Um, this is actually the GoPro Fusion. It is the 360 camera from GoPro um, because I also had to have 360 footage uh, of the center. So I tucked that in there. So like I said, bare minimum and get like a cheap tripod or something and throw this on there and be able to do my job. And then the rest of this is the small rig cage um, for camera then I have some loose cables and like the charging and battery cable to operate this so here you actually have um, this is the back here and you have three main pockets uh, two with zippers that can actually get they tuck in here which makes it nice and you have this velcro pocket which is where I actually held um, the uh, hard drive for the camera and uh, one of my microphone setups, this is the Pico Stream. Uh, this is actually the, I use the same ones for the vlogs or for these videos that I'm filming now, but I also have one set for work. Um, just great, and I just tuck them in up top like that. And here, I put um, an Allen wrench set because the small rig cage and stuff uses, um, you need an Allen wrench set to be able to opt to, to tighten everything. And then I have just random bits and pieces, more Allen wrenches in case things get lost or I need a screw or something like that, lose a screw, I have them all 
right here. And the small compartment down here, not really small, it's the same size, uh, is my extra batteries that I used for my uh, picture DSLR down here. Um, and also the um, Blackmagic 6K also operates off Canon uh, batteries. Um, so I had a couple of those in there just in case my V-mount batteries, which are over here, um, they ran out of charge or something like that. So as you can see, you can fit a ton of stuff in this bag, which is both a blessing and a curse because this is what makes everything so stinking heavy. So we have compartment one, which was down here, which held my memory card, hard cases. This compartment here held my notebooks and pens and stuff. And this compartment right here actually is where the laptop goes. And it holds a 15 inch laptop, which is good because that's the size of my work laptop. And down in here, it's deep. So my elbow is right here and my fingers are touching the bottom of the bag. So it's a deep pocket. And then I have the charging cable in there. Um, but that's really, I mean, it is with this uh, compartment here where the camera goes being so full, um, there's not a whole lot of room in here. So if I were to really pack out these one, two, three compartments full of stuff, you would not be able to get this bag underneath the seat in front of you on an airplane. It'd be way too big. Um, so with just my camera and the charger down there, uh, charging cable, um, that's about all I could really comfortably fit in there, but it is padded, nice pad there. Back here is padded as well. So right here are the straps to tie a tripod to. Um, I did have a tripod on here when I got to the downtown area of San Antonio in the airport. I did not have anything here at all. Uh, on here I put the Manfrotto 190X, which is one of their more lightweight uh, tripods, video tripods with a fluid head on top and it fit in here fine or fit on here fine and it's just real quick easy access uh, to get it on and off so on the flip side you have this one pocket here um, it does have i don't know how well you can see that uh, if you have headphones or something like maybe you have your phone in here or something like that you can flip your head slip uh, head, your headphone um, cable through here or a charging cable or something like that through here if you wanted to. I actually use this, uh, it fit even as full of it did, it fit a 20 ounce bottle of water with no problem. That's the only thing that really isn't a dedicated water pouch. I guess this kind of made it a dedicated water pouch. A lot of the other bags I saw had a water pouch of some kind to put a bottle of water, but I just use this and it, like I said, even with it being full, I was able to put a 20 ounce bottle of water in here just fine. Um, but I mean, you really put anything else in here. And then, like I said, you have a 35 millimeter jack or charging cable um, port uh, right here to just slip into this pocket. So as you can see, you can fit a lot of stuff in this, in this camera bag from equipment to laptops to chargers and all that kind of good stuff. You can put a lot in there, but that comes at a cost. Weight. When I had this thing at its fullest, it was over 25 pounds. And in a travel situation, when you're flying in an airport, at an airport or whatever, and you're carrying it around, 25 pounds at first may not seem that, like that big of a deal, but it does get heavy. Now, obviously that's not the backpack's fault that it's so heavy. I'm the one that filled it, but still, it, it, you realize, oh man, I have so much space, to put so much in there, but then you start adding on and adding on and it gets heavier and heavier and heavier. And so I flew from Knoxville to Dallas and I had about two and a half hour layover in Dallas, in Dallas to San Antonio. That layover in Dallas, lugging this thing around and my normal carry-on with like my, my clothes and stuff, it got to be a little bit much. And then when I landed in San Antonio and then you're lugging around your actual checked luggage, you know, it, it, it got to be a bit much. So um, that's one thing to think about. Now here's a picture of it in, uh, underneath the seat in front of me on the airplane. And it did fit, but it was tight. It was a very close fit. Um, had I filled those front two compartments or the front, yeah, the front two compartments, uh, their capacity, it 
may have not fit. It, it, it was, took a bit of like pushing and shoving to get it down in there. Now, when I flew from San Antonio back to Knoxville, uh, the first leg there, San Antonio, Dallas again, they asked, does anyone want to check their you know, carry-on luggage? And so I went ahead and checked my carry-on bag, so that way I can put the backpack in the overhead bin. And then I had plenty of leg room, and it was wonderful. Now I'm six foot tall, so when you're putting this backpack in the seat, underneath the seat in front of you, you have absolutely no leg room whatsoever. And not that I'm a claustrophobic, but you get to that point about on a two hour flight where you're like, I just want to stretch my feet out and I can't do it. Um, so it got to be a little bit much to actually travel uh, with this backpack as full as I made it. Like I said, that's not the backpack's fault. That is my fault for filling it as much as I did. Now let's talk about if it's a good run and gun videographer backpack or vlogger backpack. I would say, yeah, you can hold a lot of equipment on there. And once you start taking out the equipment and setting up your gear, depending what your setup is, and because I had the Blackmagic 6K and I had a small rig cage on it and all this kind of stuff, once I took all that stuff out, I wasn't gonna get it back in the backpack until I was done filming. So I sort of just carried that around on the side. Um, so the backpack got a lot lighter, which is good. But up until that first location, it got to be a bit heavy again, running through downtown San Antonio. I wasn't gonna drive my car everywhere because that would just be foolish. So I was running around, walking around, getting shots of different aspects, different parts of downtown San Antonio. Um, so once I had the camera rig set up and I had the tripod set up, sometimes I would just put the camera on the tripod, carry the tripod separately. Um, so that way the backpack was nice and light. So yeah, it is a good videographer, vlogger style backpack. Um, now, I don't know if you can really go hiking on it because if you have a lot of weight on there, it may make hiking a lot more challenging. And it doesn't have the side um, straps that a lot of like the um, more outdoorsy style camera backpacks have that give you a little bit more support and take some of the weight off your shoulders. Um, it does have the chest strap, which does help a little bit. But for just you know, your general running, running and gunning, um, getting footage, yeah, it's a great backpack, especially because it has that top strap so you can sort of sling it around, pull off the top, get your footage, put it back in the backpack and move on your way. Um, or you just sort of carry around your camera outside of the backpack with it already set up and you're good to go. So yeah, I'd say it's a great videography vlogger backpack. Now overall, is the InCase Camera Pro backpack a good travel backpack for videographers? Yes and no, which, um, kind of a cop out. Yes, in the sense, if you are at your location and you're just trying to get stuff from maybe your car or whatever to the location and back and forth, maybe running around a little bit, it's a great backpack because it holds so much stuff, including your laptop, which is important for me because it's part of my job. I need to be able to check emails and transfer footage and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, it's a great backpack in that sense, but a great backpack, backpack. But as far as a backpack to travel, like through the airlines and all that kind of stuff, I'd say no. Because it's so big, you're gonna be tempted to put so much equipment on it. And if you're not gonna fill this backpack, get the smaller one, get the DSLR Pro backpack that they sell. It's also cheaper um, because then it doesn't fill. You can't put as much stuff in there. But with this big one, you're more tempted to put a bunch of stuff in this backpack. That's gonna make it heavy. It may not fit underneath the seat in front of you. Uh, it, even in the overhead compartment, even though I got it in there fine, I didn't have to like smush it or anything, it was still a tight fit. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of wiggle room there. Um, but so for airline travel, I'd say it's probably not the greatest backpack to travel with because it's gonna get heavy running through the airports. And if you're in one of those situations where you maybe have a connecting flight and you've you know, made it a bit of a tight squeeze on that connecting flight, and you're running through an airport, a large airport, you're not gonna wanna be lugging this backpack around running. That is my review of the InCase Camera Pro backpack. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a bit of a different uh, video than what I'm, I normally do on this channel. In my next video, I'm actually be going over my goals, my lawn goals for 2020. Uh, got some cool stuff, I think. Well, I think it's cool. It's cool for me. It's different for me. Maybe not for everybody else, but for me, it's different, including the rice skew lawn. So anyway, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. Comment below. Uh, do you have a backpack that you sort of use to move luggage, or I'm sorry, move gear around or anything like that? 
and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great rest of your day and God bless. You like my fancy little table? It's a tote flipped upside down. <laughs>